Hey up guys, I'm s welcome back to my channel. It is Cleverside Pink. Nice to see you all very active on my channel. Before I even start this video, I'm here to give you some tips what to do before you even watch this video. And you can do by watching this video. I need you to do is like my videos, comment, share, hit the big red button, and also turn your notifications on because there's some new videos and exciting videos for you new subscribers out there to see. I'm here to help you and support you and make you happy. That's all I want to do for you guys. And also, I love doing YouTube. I love doing videos. I love seeing your comments. They make me happy. So I can't wait to see the comments for this video. And really, I can't wait. So let's get on with the video and let's start. Hey up guys, I'm back again. I've never done one of these videos before, but I heard that you guys are going to be doing exams in June and you guys at the minute are doing mock exams ready to go in your exams in June. So I'm going to be doing a video called How to Survive Exams and Revise Properly Ready for June Exams, GCSE Exams and also Revise for your mock exams too. So Number one is going to be called, because it is going to be saying, what I'm going to be saying to you guys is, make sure you revise a lot. And please don't give up. If you give up, you're going to give up in the exam. Do you get what I mean? You're going to go in the exam like, I didn't revise this because I gave up. I need to, I should have revised. And you'll be like, I just failed. I failed already. You're going to be thinking in your head, I failed my exam. I failed everything. This is why you need to, this is why you need to revise and never give up. If you're going to give up, you need to speak to someone who can help you, who can give you help. And that, go to your mum and dad, go to the teachers, go in your class and ask your classmates to help you. Revise with your mates, revise with your mum and dad. So when we get on with this, I'm going to say, be, I'm not going to carry on, I'm going to say my second one. My second one is make sure you study weeks before your exam. I've seen people who haven't studied weeks before the exam, they study on the exam week. And they're like, oh, I ain't got enough time to study for this, etc, etc. For the exam one, for the exam one, for the English exam one, you've got loads to do. You've got to do paragraphs and etc. So that's going to take bare time. So you want practice and take your time on that. This is why you need to revise weeks before your exam week. That's why. Because it's going to take bare time. You've got math, English, science and whatever else you do. Whatever else subjects you are picked. So you need to revise weeks before them. So you can concentrate on them too. The other subjects. I'm not going blah 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 on. So number three is get rid of all the distractions that will distract you. Comment down below what you think I'm going to be saying. Any minute now, go! One, two, three. I'm going to look at my comments right now. So I think mobile phones are distractions. Yes, they are. They are a big failure in life when you are revising for exams. You may need them, but you don't need them when you're revising. Promise me, you've got books to revise from and you've got your week, what you've been revising from. Number two, your tablet. You need to get rid of that in case you're going YouTube, Snapchat, etc, etc. You need to get rid of that. Number three, your TV. Get rid of that as well. We don't get rid of it, but turn it off. Don't turn it on. Turn it off when you're revising so you can concentrate better. Your answers, your questions, answers can revise properly in your brain. And the next one is going to be your iPod, your iPad, your whatever, iPhone, etc. Which is basically phones. So you need to get rid of them so you can revise properly, ready for the exams and you don't want to fail. These exams are really important for your future. So you really need to concentrate properly and make sure these answers function in your brain properly so you can get rid of the distractions. Number four, make sure you study in the right way. What I mean by this, I know a lot of people haven't been studying in the right way and I've been told this many times before because I got told I wasn't. So by studying in the right way you've got to break down things. So if you, when you're doing an English exam you've got so many progress you've got to do so in the first paragraph, you've got to concentrate on that main thing you've got to be doing. 
then on the very last one you've got to concentrate what you're going to be putting so that's going to be very difficult so that's why you've got to break down things in facts the very important facts so you've got to do the facts first so you've got to break it down into little pieces so make sure you do that and make sure you do that in your exam as well when you're in the exam think oh I broke this down in little pieces and you can add things on and etc etc Number five, when revising, you can do a mind map. When you do a mind map, it's easy for the answers to function in your brain because all you're writing down is the important facts of what are going to be going to going into them exams. So you need to make sure that you put the important facts down on the mind map and make sure you revise them and revise them and revise them. And make sure that they function in your brain and then get your mum and dad to go over them questions and then you've got to see if you can remember the answers you just revised. So, good luck everyone who's going to be doing it. And it will help you remember things easily too. So, make sure you break down and put key points, the important facts down. Number six, go over everything you have done. When you have finished your revising, make sure you have ten minutes of reading back over it or 25 minutes 15 minutes make sure you go back over it read it and make sure you do it right make sure it's important go and take it to your mum and dad go mum and dad is this have i done it right is this have i think i'm going to pass it if i put enough facts proper facts etc etc in it make sure it's all done right because you want to go in your exam and pass it you won't feel confident in your exam not too confident because you go too confident you're going to think, I'm going to fail, because you put, if you're being too confident, you're just going to be mind blocked. So you need to be a bit confident and a bit not confident. Get what I mean? So you need to go, you get your mum and dad to do your questions. Like I said before, you need to get someone to help you with your questions, your classmates and all that. Number seven, don't stress too much. Because if you do, you won't remember everything. Your mind will be blocked. And that is not a good thing when your mind is blocked because you are sitting there going, what? what did I even put? I can't even think what I was revising. Because you're stressing that much about the exam. You need to find things that will help you not to stress too much. You need to drink plenty of water. You can take a stress ball. Have things to make you feel better. Listen to music before you go in the exam. Revise before you go into the exam and stuff like that. You need to just feel confident. Take your mind off things. Don't stress too much. Because if you stress too much, you're not going to pass. You're just going to fail. You're going to lose one mark off your exam. And that's not good. You need to get your marks what you really need. And it's nothing's going to make sense if you go in stressed as well. Number eight, you go in the exam nice and calm. Nice and calm. And don't talk. Well, you can talk to people and say good luck. But just don't stress. Go in nice and calm. Take water with you. Make sure you take the label off. Otherwise, you can't take water with you. And make sure you write in black. And make sure you make sure yeah you make sure you drink plenty of water because that will keep you dehydrated and make you feel better. Refresh your mind, don't it? So that's what I think. Number nine. Make sure you take your time. To allow your brain to think. In the exam, they may tell you you get this much time, this much time. But you don't take ages on your answers. You need to take time and you take not ages. So you need to just you need to take time on certain questions where you got the most marks. So the questions with the most marks are like five marks and others have got two and one. You need to concentrate on a higher mark so you can pass. Because the higher marks get you to pass marks so that's what you need to concentrate and need to help you pass so you need to take the time don't rush and do rush because you won't remember things if you rush but also you need to rush because of time and you're not going to able to pass and you're not able to get the important marks you really do need so i'm going to go on to the last one and this is important to me not important to me but it's important for me to say to you guys so also you can do flashcards. This one is for revision. I should have put all revisions and then put all exams, shunter. So 
but this one's for revision. So you also can do flashcards that will help you remembering things. So, like I said in a previous, whatever I was saying earlier, like I said, you can do. So you can do what is it? Key facts or what? I don't can't remember what they're called. I haven't done an exam in a very long time, but I can remember things. So you've got to do the important key facts. What are important on a flash? Put them on a flashcard and go read it and then read the others. Keep doing it. And then go to your mum and dad. Go to your mum and dad and your mum read the question out or your dad and then get what I mean. Your mum and dad will read the question out and then you got should remember them answers on that flashcard. And your mum and dad will tell you the total marks you got at the end. So hopefully these flashcards will help you because they are the best thing that will help you to revise. My map will help you a bit, but it takes longer and it takes longer to revise. If you do a flashcard, it gets in your brain easier and it'll help you revise quicker and hopefully pass you quicker. So you'll pass your exams and your mock exams quicker and better and remember things better and the important things too. So it's, they are really good flashcards. So I recommend you do flashcards because you write down the important facts and I recommend you do that because that's what I did so hopefully you guys pass your exam welcome welcome guys no not welcome guys this is the end of the video guys I really hope you enjoyed it comment down below uh, if any of these helped you I may talk too quick or anything like that if you think I have just comment and then I'll go over it again I'll type it to you and stuff like that. So hopefully all this revision and yeah, tips helped you a lot because this will help me a lot. So hopefully it helped you a lot. I bet you're sitting there one day thinking I need some tips, how to revise and how to pass my exams and just watch this video. Just shout out to your friends who are going to be doing your mock exams or going to be doing their GCSE exams in June. So hopefully everyone who's doing a mock exam and people who are doing our GCSE exams in June, hopefully you pass it and I really hope you good luck. And hopefully this video has worked out for you. So if this video has worked out for you, please give it a big thumbs up, like, share and subscribe and comment as well and turn your notifications on. I've never said that in a video because I never ever think it's important. But it is important if you want people to check your videos out. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and if you want me to do more please comment down below because I've got loads of more video ideas coming up. So I'm going to be doing some cloud videos and stuff like that with different people. So thanks guys for all your support on my channel and see you guys later and I can't wait to see your comments because at the minute I'm very down and only chewing up so I can't wait to see your comments. See ya. Love you all guys. Keep up the good work and keep on smiling. Love ya!